Hey everybody, Ken Madden with Mad K Studios, and today I want to talk a little bit about style. So, I'm a fan of Art Deco, the Art Deco time. This is a great piece from the early 50s that I had. This is from a Kaiser, yeah, 52 or 53 Kaiser, I can't remember which, might have been It was actually designed by, I'll put it this way, see right there the name Petty. Petty was an artist back then that did pinup art and things like that. Um, and I've had this for a, quite a long time, probably probably 30 years. I took it off of a carnage junkyard. It was many years ago and I've just kept it. So you can, you can see it's pretty pretty beat up, it's not really usable. It can be refinished, but I kind of like the way it is. But this really was an inspiration to do um, some artwork. And that's what I want to show you today. If you've been following me at all, you're familiar with some of these pieces already because I've already shown them, but you've never seen them like kind of all together in one shot, um, the way that I'd had pictured in my mind originally. So here they are. This one here is in Auburn for me, from an early 30s Auburn. This is a mid 30s Packard. And this is from a early 30s Stutz. A lot of people haven't heard of Stutz or or or, or Packard or Auburn because they're all out of business now. But back in the 30s during the, the Great Depression, when you know, a lot of people were suffering and there was a lot of bad in the world, there was also a lot of good happening. And in the world of design, especially in the automobile, it was changing radically every year. Um, big changes were coming. And they built some of the most beautiful cars of that era right before the war. And this is just, these three are just a celebration of that kind of artwork, that kind of style, the Art Deco, the, the reflections, the, 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 there's an optimism and strength in this. And uh, such as this. this, this one's like, it, it's, it's reflecting upon itself kind of an idea. And this is just a, a very regal connotation. And I should, I don't even know what, exactly what the meaning of all this part of this is, but it was so um, intricate, all of these in their own way. This one's very intricate. This one's got quite a bit of detail. This has less detail, but it's so elegant, you just, you, you can't help but like it. So my plan was to take pictures of these cars. So I was at a September, 2021, I was at a car show, kind of a cruise night drive-in car show um, on the St. Croix River in uh, Stillwater, Minnesota. And I saw these three cars, they were all parked together, one owner. And uh, so I took a bunch of pictures of them, figuring I'm gonna do, a, you know, pictures of the whole car. And as I got, um, when I do drawings, like if you have a drawing done with my car, I do a drawing for you of your car. One of the things I request is take pictures of the emblems, the wheels, the grill, that kind of thing. So when I'm doing the drawing, I have some reference photos to work from. And as I was going through these these images that I'd taken, there's probably 50 or 60 of them, and trying to figure out which angle I want to use and what I want to do, I realized I'm like, I, these incredible pieces of art that are on the hood of the car get lost in a complete drawing. So I'm just gonna create um, a triptych, a three-part series of paintings. And these are acrylic paintings on canvas. Um, and so I started it last year with this one. This is this is the one that a lot of people know about. I've already had um, a few of these sell. I made a very, very limited edition of prints with them. And that was last fall, last September, October. Um, for those of you who bought a print, thank you very much. And Actually, I have a, this is what they look like right here, the print, something like that. So, they're 11 by 14. I have a few left on my website, but what I would like to do, uh, as I'm making prints of these other two here in the next, in the next, uh, well, I'll be ordering them pretty soon and they'll be in, I'd imagine mid-September we'll have them ready, ready for sale. If you have one of my original prints of Flying High, that's this one here, and I sign a number each one, if you want these other two, let me know, and I'll, I will sell them to you at a uh, at actually a discount price. And I'll also make sure if you let me know what number print you have, I will make sure that you get the corresponding number. So you'll have the three match set. Each print will have the same number on it. So um, I'll do that. They're, they're going to get numbered uh, the same way. I've numbered this one. I'm not going to number it special for you, but what I'm saying is that say you get print number three, 
If you want the other two, I'll make sure that you get print number three of each one of those as well. So you gotta let me know with that, ken at madkstudio.com. You can message me on here. Um, and I'm always available for that. So anyway, I'm pretty excited to have these all done. I'm uh, not sure if I'm gonna sell the originals or not. As an artist, it's always exciting to present your work. To present it like this um, to the world is kind of strange. I'm used to presenting in person, but hope you like these. And if you're interested in them, uh, look what this can do for your wall. Please let me know, and I will make sure that we can do this. So again, and at madkstudio.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.